always have been, always will be Celtic. SPL champions 2012-13, led by one of the most important men in the team, Scott Brown, who's been missing through injury, but uh, such an important player for us, the captain. I can see, you can see it on his face there, Paul. It's a, a huge moment, a proud moment from there, leading the team out. Um, obviously, we all know what Scott Brown's like when it comes to his tenacity in playing football. He'd want it to play today, but you know he's leading the team out, and he looks absolutely so proud and delighted to be here. Now he did touch upon the fact he might be fit for the Scottish Cup final, which would be a real boost for us. But uh, the players now taking the customary photograph. We've won the league again. Fly the flag, fly the flag, and. I suppose it's just all building up to uh, the manager getting his acclaim from when he walks on because the moment, we've still got another six minutes to go. And, uh, it's uh, quite a bizarre, I mean, it was a bizarre ruling anyway, a bizarre it's punishment. Just, and it's ridiculous the ruling that it's this 15 minutes, but I mean, on the flip side, Paul, I think the manager might actually enjoy this because he's got the whole stadium sitting waiting on him. Well, the Celtic players... I think some of them will be delighted just to get a wee rest now after this, but... And already the fans are chanting his name. And... The Celtic players... Uh, that's actually James Keating's at the front beside Chris Commons, just in case for him. He didn't know he's uh, <laughs> spent a bit of time on loan. He's, I think maybe some people thought he may have just sneaked into the, <laughs> into the party there. But and uh, Neil Lennon just five minutes away from a claim with Celtic fans, scarves aloft, singing, We'll never walk alone. The players just getting their photographs took now, just waiting again on the manager. But it's such a bizarre rule call, isn't it? We're having to sit here and, and wait on the manager coming out. But as I said, I think uh, the roof's going to be raised right off Celtic Park when he does come out. Well, there are a few better sights and sounds in football in Celtic Park singing You'll Never Walk Alone and we have a celebration today of course the 11th of May Saturday the 11th of May 12.15pm kickoff Celtic vs St Johnson at the end of that game the SPL trophy bedecked again in green and white ribbons will just be taken out I think from the Celtic trophy room and given to the manager, the captain and all the players and the players are going to start doing their lap of honour and as they're doing their lap of honour in four minutes time the manager will be announced on to the park but a uh, well deserved acclaim from the Celtic fans to the Celtic players and it's a, just always a great day title party day at Paradise I'm also delighted to say Paul is uh, the Celtic players are going round there um, their camera guy Jordan McKinley was just pushed over by a combination of Charlie Mugru and Dylan McGee so Sonny slag him later on that's, that's nice to see well some of the Celtic players going in to see the fans as well and give some scarves and stuff so nice to see that as well Chris Commons over just uh, saying hello to some of the fans in the Lisbon Lions stand at the moment. Throwing in Scarf, in fact, he just threw a jersey in there, which what a wonderful memento that's going to be for one player, Scott Brown. He'll be delighted but frustrated because uh, I, I don't think there's anyone who likes to play football at a club more than Scott Brown, and it must be a frustrating time for him to to not be able to, to play his part on the field but he has, has made such an important contribution anyway over, over the course of the season I think um, it's, a, it's a mixed feelings for Scott Brown because you know he's, his injury uh, he's, he's really struggled to get to come, to come back from hopefully as we, as we say he might make an appearance in, in the cup final that, that would be fantastic of course but uh, as I said though Paul I mean, it's, it's, he's overriding feeling I'm, I'm guessing must be just complete pride because you know as he is a Celtic captain it's it's back-to-back -back championships, and he, he just he just looks absolutely delighted to, to believe in that team around the stadium now. Well, the Celtic players must be a great feeling actually after the end of a, a long hard season. 
to be able to have a moment like this when they can actually just walk around the stadium and enjoy the acclaim of the fans. Two minutes and 12 seconds and counting before the manager comes out. I think everybody's watching the clocks on the big screens. Quite bizarre in a way, but in a way it's just meant everybody's obviously staying behind and it's quite nice, just a nice kind of jovial party atmosphere. It's nice to see, as you say, Paul, everyone's waiting here to hear from the manager because um, everyone obviously wants to know how what, what he feels on, you know, that's, for him, as you say, he's, he's joined such, you know, an elite, you know, elite group of people who have achieved so much as managers uh, at, at Celtic and it's just, it's amazing to see everyone waiting here to just, just to see what, what he's going to say. Well, the Celtic players certainly enjoying the celebration. Quite a few of them, I think, are going to have a bit of time off to recharge the batteries ahead of the Scottish Cup final. And then, of course, a, a very, very short break before they resume pre-season training because our, our Champions League qualifiers, I think we're going to have three Champions League qualifiers next season, so they're going to begin in the middle of July. And, you know, we've enjoyed such a wonderful European campaign this season. We want more of the same next season. I think, as you say, it's the, the kind of pre-season but I, I, don't, I wouldn't even see what we're getting one at all Paul it's just it's right back into it so it gives an indication of maybe how hard these players have been working this season if you look at our Euro, Euro exploits but um, I mean it's days like this but it's just, you just kind of want to soak in every bit of this atmosphere the players have, have worked so hard we've, got, we've won the league again and every single one of them is rightly delighted and should be so proud right now And with 40 seconds, 39 seconds, I'm not going to count down from 40 seconds. <laughs> and uh, if you're listening to on Celtic TV through an audio, just an audio service, you can go to the preview site, you'll be able to see the celebrations now. We'll be able to show you those post-match celebrations. There's the main site, uh, CelticFC.net, and you'll be able to watch uh, the post-match celebrations here at Celtic Park as the Celtic players enjoy their claim. Emilio Ezeguiri just goes into the the stand to greet some of the fans and get his picture taken and we're now a, a countdown of five four three two one and Neil Lennon is able to come on in the park and listen to the applause the cheers the acclaim for Celtic's two in a row manager Neil Lennon well talking about making an entrance and here he comes, Neil Lennon. And the Celtic fans acclaim their manager. And he will be absolutely delighted. And he's going to just say a few words. And we'll let you hear the manager's words. Thank you. I can just interrupt you for one second, you know, I'm all for letting the people sing and uh, I hope you sing really loud and proud tonight, it's another memorable day in uh, the history of, you know, what I believe is the greatest club in the world. We, uh, whilst we have a, a great history and a great tradition, I think you should applaud the present as well. We have a fantastic, vibrant, talented young team who have brought great memories to the club this year. You know, we've had a wonderful European campaign. Obviously, beating Barcelona here was, was the highlight. And we have retained our title, which was obviously the priority at the start of the season. However, the future looks good as well. We, uh, a young team, uh, hungry, hungry for more success. But we cannot do it without yourselves. And in my three years here, your support has been unequivocal. I'll pay a tribute to the guys up there again in the corner of the Green Brigade. You brought so much color, you brought so much fun, you brought so much pride, but I want to give everyone here in the stadium credit for the magnificent support you give me and these young group of players. Um, I hope it continues for a long time. Just to finish off what was you know, a very special day for me and my family who have been here for every game and given me magnificent support, my partner, my son, thank you. 
I would also like to thank the board, who again have been magnificent in their support for myself, my background team. And I think it was pretty significant today that the, you know, I don't want to single anybody out, but the three goal scorers today, Gary, Joe, Georgie, in my time here have made huge contributions to what we've achieved here, but it was a brilliant performance. It was a brilliant way to finish the season, i.e. in the league anyway. We have a cup final to look forward to. I hope they'll all see you there, and I hope they'll all see you over the, the next four games. But for me, I, you may be happy, but I'm the happiest man in, in the country tonight, and uh, thank you very much. Well, some wonderful words from Neil Lennon, the championship winning manager, two in a row. A very proud man, Neil Lennon, hugging Giorgio Samaras. He mentioned Giorgio Samaras, Joe Ledley, and Gary Hooper amongst those players who have been magnificent for him throughout his time as manager. It's been a, a wonderful afternoon here at Celtic Park. Celtic with their second consecutive league title, Neil Lennon, a championship winning manager again. The season, of course, not over. We've got another four league games and then a chance to win the league and cup double. It's uh, at Hamden on May the 26th against Hibernian. Again, the strains of you'll never walk alone, the scarf's aloft. I'm sure wherever you are in the world, wherever you've watched Celtic TV this afternoon, you've enjoyed another great day, another 125 years of history that continues to be written, enjoyed, remembered and sung about wherever Celtic fans gather. And I will just leave you with some images from this celebration this afternoon. We hope you've enjoyed the game. We hope to see you for the next few games and enjoy your championship party wherever you are in the world this afternoon. Hail, hail.